Okay, so on the splitter cable, uh, this goes into the OBD port, which is down here. Um, so these are all numbered correctly, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. We need to replace number six, which is this one, with number 13, which is there. So it's six, you need to pull out six and pull out 13. Put number six into the 13 slot and 13 into number six slot and number 14 which is this one i believe eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so number 14 needs to come out and be replaced with 12. so you take out number 14 you take out number 12 you put 14 into the 12 slot and put 12 into the 14 slot hope that makes sense and that's all you have to do on on the uh, splitter cable now that the splitter cable has been modified well i've got a wi-fi obd reader uh, i'll have the uh, uh, the links in the description for both of these items they're both from amazon so the my the wi-fi obd reader now goes into the port that we just changed around and that goes into the car obd reader which is down here right so the obd reader is plugged into the car we need to turn leave the ignition on and i learned this from mike when i went out to see him you put the card uh, key card in the car put your foot on the brake uh, put the car in drive Hold down the start button and then it should say on the dash um, remove key card so foot on the brake still you put the car in park let go of brake and then the ignition will stay on like that you don't have to touch anything so now that the ignition is staying on uh, we have to go back to DDT for all Right then, so on DDT for all, I'm going to click the Wi-Fi icon because I've got a Wi-Fi reader. Click, I'm aware that I can harm my car. You won't, but you know. Okay, enlarge this, and then we're going to click the magnifying glass and then click can. So there's a green bar here has to be it goes it goes up to 100% it takes like five six minutes so uh, pause the video once it's 100% come back oh also so while it's uh, reading or loading if your speakers make strange noises that's normal because what we've done is we've modified the splitter cable so it can connect to the R-Link 1 unit and sometimes the speakers make strange noises because of it so that's that's normal don't worry about that also while it's being um while it's reading if you do get red writing on ddt for all that's also normal don't worry about that okay so this is done even though it's a zero percent so that's strange but it's normal right so we're going to click on well mine says mfd v 5.4 but it should be either the same or similar it should be mfd version something something you click in click on that even though it's red then number one which is configurations on the screens i'm just going to pull uh this out it's okay if you can't see the screen i, I will read out the options so once we've open click the uh arrow on number one configuration we're going to click on number 12 uh, ecu configuration radio audio rear camera so click that once takes a second to come up on the right screen so where we have uh branding car maker if you click on the arrow you get a drop down menu of options so this is where you can change up your uh, boot logo 
intro introduction thing. So mine is set to Renault Sport RS because it's a Clio RS. Um, Renault Sport GT, I'm going to click that one and click, actually before I click right car make, I need to click on Einstein, which is up here, export mode. I think that's him. And then click right car maker. It freezes for a second. Right. So we it says in the green box Renault Sport GT new. So if I come up here, turn that on. I'm going to do a soft reset. One, two, three, four, five. It should come up with the Renault Sport logo in blue, which I believe is for the GT cars. There it is. We've got the Renault Sport uh, GT new. So there we go. We just saw that come up. I'm going to put it back to the Renault Sport one because I like it in red. But that is how you change up your R-Link boot logo introduction. If I turn this on again, and do another soft reset. Uh, so I'm currently editing this video and I'm, I realized I didn't make like an outro, or like a finishing scene at the end there. Um, so once you've clicked right car maker or you change the boot up logo, you can simply out, uh, exit out of DDT for all. So you don't have to click save or override or anything like that so uh so yeah that's all you have to do if it worked for you then please leave a like if it doesn't work uh write it down in the comment section and i'll try and help as best as i can uh but thank you for watching